guys. Welcome in. Such an amazing story. I really needed to find something quick. This opportunity, as I've said before, landed on me late November and all the wheels were in motion by December and they wanted me up here at the beginning of the year. So I needed to find something quickly. And this popped up on the MLS one morning and I saw it and it was a townhouse, the perfect size, furnished. And I called the realtor and I said, I think this is it. And we pulled the plug on it and I'm just, I'm thrilled to show you. It's, it's so charming and sweet. And if I would have furnished it myself, I would have done the very same. So let's take a look. This townhome has a wood paneled office. This is kind of cool. I've never had an office space this big before. And I just threw all my stuff up here. I, I, I don't know, I, I still feel like I'm gonna be tweaking a little bit. You know how it is with knickknacks and accessories. So I played around, I just wanted everything to make sense. I wanted to be able to hang up some artwork, um, get that photo of me with my mother when I was five months old hung up. The artwork that Holly gave me for Christmas is up here in the canvas with the photos and just different pictures of people who mean something to me, but I love it. It's a cozy, comfy space. This, as it turns out, is a sleeper sofa. So if you wanna come hang out with me and spend the night, this is the place. I mean, there's a guest bedroom too, but I mean, you could stay here if you kind of like the whole office vibe. And there's a television up there in the corner. Oh, what I loved about it, I used to have five, this is just so random. I used to have files like in a tub, you know, a little thing that you could transport. And there are file systems built in everywhere in all the furniture. So I just took all my files out and I organized there and I had more files in these drawers. And, and of course <laughs> it came with a leopard chair, which, <laughs> I think, I think they knew that I was going to be knocking on this door, right? I mean, I feel like this place fits me. Cool vibe. I brought my ottoman. You may uh, recall that from the podcast set. But yeah, everything else came with the house, except for my stuff. You might recognize this from all the times I spent in my mother's place when she and I would do Q&A sessions together, or I would vlog at her apartment. But this light was in her apartment and when I had to clean it out after she passed I kept a lot of her personal memorabilia you know old letters and photos and old china from my nana but I just I always loved this lamp that she had in her living room and I just feel you know between this and between her right there and just different touches of her like this photo right here this was my mom and dad um, just a few months after they had gotten married so it's just neat. I feel my parents' presence all over this place. Here, in fact, here's a photo of when they did get married. Right here. Look at that hair. Look at that hair, Audrey. That is quite the beehive going on. Very impressive. What's especially great about this room is that you truly are here in this. This was the YouTube plaque that was presented to me for passing 1 million viewers and, or subscribers as they say. <laughs> I'm so used to television. But anyway, um, that is so symbolic for me and impactful and significant. And I just, I love it, I treasure it. It, it reminds me why I do what I do and it's for you. So I love having that. And this was given to me my last day of television news in Houston, my last day at KPRC, they threw a, going away party for me. And the mayor of Houston at the time, Mayor Sylvester Turner, gave me a proclamation, which says uh, that October 29th of 2021 was Dominique Saxa Day in Houston, Texas. So that's very symbolic for me as well, to have something that represents my, my hometown, my city, and a very special day in my heart as well. So love that. So for when you do come and stay with me, this is the half bath. <laughs> And it's also Oscar's feeding room, so you're going to have to share it. His bowl is here, of course, so he knows, right? As if he really needs to know where to go. Eat is where he eats. And anyway, super cool half bath. Just hung, again, just personal touches, my own art and my candle and all the little things that make a house feel like a home. I fell in love with the primary bedroom. It is 
Well, first of all, I would have decorated it this way. Uh, that's what Courtney said when she came over. She's like, oh my gosh, this townhouse, this is so you. This furniture is so you. And it is, it is truly so me. Beautiful space, warm, inviting. Uh, again, all the furniture was provided. Even art, I just brought my art that's above the bed. That's it. And my, and my throw. <laughs> my art and my throw. And of course, too much clothing. Too much, much too much. Um, this literally just got finished yesterday so that I could have you over. But I was, I was embarrassed to say that I had these massive cavernous plastic bags filled with clothes. So I am still in a weed out process with clothing because yes, I have too much. I have to show you this because I found it to be very cool. Normally you have to pull on things to get your light to turn on and off. Not here. You just tap. <gasps> How cool is that? I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm the tapper. You, you can even have the, the clapper and I'm the tapper. <laughs> and now the room that sold it to me. <laughs> oh, this bathroom is awesome. <laughs> Literally, when I was on the MLS and you know how you're swiping through images of the house, when I finally got to the primary bathroom, and I saw all of this and the space and the color and the ceiling and the shower and the closet. Indeed, this was meant to be my home. So in previous home or apartment tours, I don't think I've ever taken you in my shower, but there's enough room for all of us in here. So come on, it's a little echoey, but you can shower over here. You can shower over there. Shower anywhere you want to. You can get your water from up there. You can get it from over here. You can get it from over here. Or if you just want, take a plunge in the big tub. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. Crazy part is what I'm going to share with you at the very end. That's going to blow your mind. Well, let me just say I figured out how to put that one on and this one on. So these. Okay, this is genius. I love this because I don't wash my hair all the time and I don't like to get my hair wet. These you can do separately and they're just a body wash and, and they cut off right about here. So my head is dry. I can just do a whole body wash and not worry about the whole thing. And then of course you can do all of these at once. This one just kind of dumps on you like a rain shower. And then the other one's a handheld nozzle if you want to do that. This bathroom is wild. If you like wood paneling, you're going to love this room because I sure do. <laughs> yeah, this is an organized closet. This, this was incredible. And it's, again, it has forced me to get real with a lot of things. It, it's very spacious, but I've just, I've had too much and I've got more stuff upstairs that I need to get rid of. But that is my project for 2024 is to continue to get rid of things that I'm not using. But I love the system. The only thing I haven't gotten to yet my jewelry, I just literally, you can see how um, Courtney helped me with this and we wrapped it up and I just need to get my jewelry from here, which I had in my closet. And this is wonderful. It's got the built-in jewelry here. So I just, I, I just need to tackle that. It's my last thing to do and I'm there, but there's a place for everything. And I love being organized and tidy. And this is amazing. So this hamper right here, do you see there are doors? Okay, are you dying? Because these doors are to the laundry room. So you literally put your clothes in the hamper, you shut it, you go in the laundry room, you open the doors and all your dirty clothes are right there. I know, wow, is right. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> is that not crazy? Look, washer and dryer behind me. Literally, dump and go. Ah, ah see? Ta-da. I still have one more. Okay, clothes that I'm getting rid of. I'm already starting that collection. Um, and one box yet to be unpacked, but it's got toilet paper, paper towels, Kleenex, things like that. So I figure I just, I don't know, I'll keep it in boxes or get, I mean, if I put it up there, then I need a giant ladder and I'm just gonna keep it in the box to make my life easy. Welcome to the living room again. 
not my furniture, but there were a few things that might stand out, just a few. For instance, these pillows that were on my podcast set, they came with me and I thought, how perfect for this little setting. This, this piece was at my mother's and this is an old piece of china that my Nana had. Um, I, I don't know the date, either it dates back to maybe the 1930s, but it's a beautiful piece and um, just a couple of little broken pieces because it's moved a lot, but this is a very special piece of family history for me. My two prints that I have of uh, the Louvre, the first arrondissement and the fourth arrondissement, um, restoration hardware. Let's see. Oh, the mirror came. <laughs> Maybe this looks familiar. This was on the podcast set as well. I brought my mirror. I just thought it'd be nice, you know, with a few of the gold touches around here. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's about it. I think that's your lamp. Oh yeah, that's my lamp. Thank you, Courtney. That is my lamp. Wow. Wow, she brought so much. <laughs> oh wait, those are my flowers. Come here. <laughs> Let's go to the wine area. Yes. The all important wine cooler. These you might recognize, and that art was mine as well. The angel. This kitchen that is used for making coffee. <laughs> it's just a crying shame, is it not? This kitchen is glorious, open, bright, amazing, and literally came with everything. I just brought a few things of my own, a few of my own cups and mugs and glasses, but other than that, I just had to bring myself. My water purifier is here. And most importantly, my Nespresso maker. I upgraded, it's a little bit different. Does it look different? It should look different. I need to clean out the milk canister, but I got one that actually frosts the milk so I can do a cappuccino or a latte. And that's about all that's mine. <laughs> so I'm thinking with a kitchen like this, maybe a cooking video is in order. <laughs> maybe I need to bring someone in to give me a tutorial on that. But do you guys think? If, if you wanna see something like that, let me know in the comment section and, and we'll try to incorporate that and I can find somebody who can teach me and all of us maybe a neat recipe if I can find all the things in my drawers. One of the things I love about this townhouse is the outside space, this whole deck off of the living room. Oscar loves to hang out here, but right now it's 14 degrees outside, so nobody's hanging out, but there's plenty of space all around the property. So I'm thinking come springtime, wouldn't it be great for another gardening video and potting plants and things like that? So I can't wait to share that aspect of this place later with you. So you may be wondering, how is it that I was able to say yes to a fully furnished house and to let go of 90% of my possessions? I think it just reflects where I am in this stage of my life. I am wanting to disassociate and lessen a dependency on material items. To me, it is really more about relationships and experience and less about stuff and attachment to things. So this really reflected that next stage of that. You know, my, my apartment and moving from a house to an apartment was certainly a paring down. Going from one apartment to the next reflected that as well. This to me was just an opportunity to wipe the slate clean and basically say, you know what? I don't need a lot of things. Most of what I had, I had ordered from Wayfair. They weren't expensive, they weren't, you know, pricey antiques or things that I maybe would have had a hard time parting with. You know, these things matter, right? These things that come from family or photo albums or, or mementos, those are cherished. But a couch is a couch is a couch is a couch. And I was kind of excited actually coming into a new place with new things and, and having that experience. It's almost like going to a great hotel and you're like, I'm checking in and I don't want to check out. And that's what this feels like. So this is what I call Styles' section. <laughs> it is Styles approved. He's already been here and he loves it. This is his bedroom and it's so sweet and cute and it's filled with his photos. And he actually, that's a self-portrait that he made in high school on that wall. And I, I love that. And the rest are just childhood photos of him or the two of us, um, my favorite with little baby styles at five months. Yeah, this is just such a sweet, wonderful guest room. And, and his big question was, Mom, does it have a TV? And I said, yeah, but it does. And I, I even tipped it toward his bed. <laughs> so he was very, very happy staying here. Um, I am embarrassed to say that
I'm serious, I'm working on it. Summer lives up here. Working on it. So he was digging his bathroom and shower, which I think kind of has a nice rustic male vibe to it with the darker colored towels. And he's like, mom, I love this shower. I'm like, you better, that's a nice shower. <laughs> I love that shower, but not as much as I love my shower. This I think has to be the coolest part. Caught me by surprise. It looks like a closet, right? Nope, it's an elevator. Shall we? All right. Now, I promised you some cool deets on this place. Can I tell you? This townhouse is just $200 more a month than the apartment that I was paying for in Houston. Can you believe it? I struck gold. And I know what your next question is. Hey, come on in. Did you go potty? Did you go potty? You're such a good boy. Oh my gosh, so many of you have been asking about Oscar. Is he coming with you? Of course he's coming with me. He's my little boo. And can I tell you that he absolutely adores this place. He lives outside as much as he can and as much as I'll let him. I think judging by the tail, you can see this is one happy camper. But anyway, thank you for joining me on this home tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's, it's a great space and a great place for me. It feels like home. It's comfortable, it's cozy, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a gift, that's how I see it. I just see it as an incredible gift from God that this place was available at the time that I needed it. I think it fits me perfectly. Can I say the price was right? Everything was right, so check, check. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next week. Shall I let you out? <laughs>